Yes, boss. 444 the world back in here again once again, man. Happy to be here. Happy to see you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? Some people will try to learn you just to use you. So here's the deal, right? Last video of the week, and you know I got to make sure all of them real juicy, real nice, Coke bottle, real thick, like, you feel me? So here's the deal. In life, you're going to have people who are going to try and study you because they feel like if I can learn this person, I can either get around them or I can use them. And I'm going to explain this to you. I've said this before. The previous, what, the second video I saw in the week was somewhat like this, but it's not like it, if you get where I'm going with this. Never, ever, ever try to learn somebody to use them. It's going to backfire on you, bruh. Because I'm going to teach you this, right? There's certain tricks and games I learned. I can't teach you everything, bruh. Because like I said, if it falls into the wreck, hands that means people could go out here and wreaking havoc you get what i'm saying so here's the deal there are people who will try to learn you and study you but they in turn starting to realize yo even though they they built in their mind i don't like this person over time you grow on people you ever heard that saying before it's like i never liked this person but it's like over time they grew on me you want to know why because the more you linger around somebody, the more you hang around somebody is the more you become fond of them, the more you get comfortable with them, right? So it's like slowly but surely if a person tried to learn you to use you, they try to take down your walls. But in, in other terms, it's like you start taking down their walls like, bro, I'm not a bad person or whatever you think in your mind. They don't know you think this, though, but in their mind, they're like, yo, this person ain't that bad, bro. But let me see if I can still use it, right? They get around this person, start studying this person, but they don't see the little games that they're playing are going to backfire on them, right? Like, i.e., I'm hanging around this person, and yeah, they're a duck, they're a loser. They don't know I think this about them, but at the end of the day, I'm hanging around them. That's all that matters. I can probably get whatever it is that I want. Then they go a little bit farther in, running your name through the mud talking smack about you all this other little other extra shit right not realizing how it's gonna turn around and backfire on them here's what makes this shit so amazing in a way right when people do things like this to you they don't know which way that the ball is gonna spin i say that all the time you don't know where the ball is gonna roll in life bro you could have been trying to use a person and thinking dog they're a duck or whatever and come to find out you end up starting to like this person now bro and then by then you start realizing yo i was doing some screwed up stuff let me stop no you already kept it going this is why i say stop practicing evil shit because you're gonna practice an evil game and you're gonna swindle your own self bro just like o'neill and I'm going to explain his situation a little bit, right? I've heard stories about this nigga since I was young, bruh. Since I was in, like, middle school. About to go to high school. I used to hear stories about this man, bruh. You feel me? Come to find out, I'm actually hanging around him through his cousin, Kyrie. Right? Now, I'm going to show you how shit works with me. I don't ever beg somebody to be around them. If you want to hang around me or some shit, and I say we could get some shit going, make some shit happen, ain't no problem, bro. It's just the vibe got to be there. I started to see something. Slowly but surely, I started, I felt like, bro, never really, wasn't really, like, rocking with me like that. And that's understandable. If you don't know a person, you, you're not going to be able to read them like that. So you're not going to put your whole cards out there. But over time, I started seeing how this man start expressing himself and, Opening itself around me like just yeah, like let me I could talk more with D'Lo until I start seeing something I don't know if bro felt like oh he a duck here I'll get comfortable with this nigga and he could I could just do whatever show you how his plans backfired on him O'Neal brought me around everybody he brought me around his mother he brought me around his father his sister his mother-in-law his family i've been around his cousins i've been around all type of people these are different personality traits of people bro and everybody who knows certain laws you're gonna see something bro 
you had this nigga around you, I don't pick up a bad a bad a bad vibe from them. Sure, nobody's perfect. Anybody can spin a story in a certain kind of way. It's just depending on how you sell it to them. You feel me? If you're stating facts, how you use your words, all of that shit. This nigga will paint the image, or he trying to use me, he trying to steal from me, he trying to this, that, and the third. He didn't know that a lot of the people he introduced me to, if I don't know them, they got homies that they rock with that know me like that. So if somebody knows you like that, they can stick up for you. You feel me? And that's going to change perception of people. Not only that, there are people who know my brother. So they know how he was raised. You get what I'm saying? That's what helped forfeit it and help, uh, help expose his hand and who he is as a person. He just didn't get everything fully exposed. He just went around with lies saying, oh, D'Angelo did this. D'Angelo tried to steal from me. D'Angelo did this. D'Angelo tried to rob me. That doesn't explain who I am as a person. That's why I said, I'm going to show you something. In order for somebody to explain something or make it so kind of sellable, if it's not factual, they're going to have to snitch on themselves. I just gave you game, bro. You ever heard somebody say, hey, bro, stay away from this person. He a thief. He a liar. He a cheat. He did this. He stole that girl car. He did this. And it sounds so sellable, so believable, so well aligned. Like, damn, you just crossed your T's and you dotted your eyes with this one. How did you know that? Because they're telling you about themselves. That's the shit that they did. They just took their name off of it. And I'm going to slap your name on the profile, buddy. That's the shit that you did. You ever peep game? When people get caught, it's because they explain or put themselves out there and try to switch the role and make it seem like the other person did it when they did it. That's how stuff goes. So the whole time this man got me around me, got me around him trying to learn me, I ended up learning him to the point where people on his side start liking me. His kids like me. His old lady like me. His mama like me. Your daddy like me. You already screwed yourself. You don't even know how to play reverse psychology like that. And I wasn't even playing reverse psychology. What was I doing? Being myself. That's another thing I'm going to tell you. A lot of people like that badness and that wickedness. If you're not a bad person or you're not with it, don't switch up who you are to be something that you're not, dog. Be yourself, bro. There's nothing wrong with being yourself. If people don't like you for who you are, fuck them. Fuck them. You don't need them. Fuck are you? Oh, yo, we don't accept you for who you are. Nigga, fuck you. Who is you? I ain't know your thoughts pay my bills. The fuck? Hey, let me tell you something, bro. I'm, I got a rude... Hey, bro, I got a slick-ass mouth, bro. But I could back that shit up, bro. There's a lot of people who will try you and feel like they could use you or walk over you or undermine you. But the minute you return that energy that they gave to you, it's a problem. And I'm going to tell you why. Because sometimes people view you as a softy or you shouldn't say anything. You shouldn't stand up for yourself. You shouldn't be retaliating. Who are you? You shouldn't be saying anything. I'm just here to use you. That's how some people view you. That's why I learned another trick. When you finally open your mouth and express yourself, people and all the lies that they said on you, it kind of falls down. Because then, people will be able to formulate their own opinion against you. Uh, yeah, I don't think this person did that, bro. But, that means your story got some holes in it. So why would you lie like that? I'm going to tell you why. Because I have the niggas' whole secrets. I know how you feel about Skit. I know how you feel about Jermaine. I know how you feel about your baby mother. I know how you feel about a lot of people. I know how you feel about KZ. The only person I haven't heard you talk shit about is Cadence. I'd say Cadence. You talk hella shit about Cameron. And if you don't know, Cameron is Sinead's, bro uh, Sinead's brother, his, his BM. Like, we're, we're, we're going all the way up with this shit, you feel me? Reason being is because I feel some way these people are around this man. He love me. This is my family. They love me. This is the shit I'm be trying to show you, bro. There are people who will hate you because you have a loving heart, dog. I said this before, bro. Why you think um what's the name from the Migos got killed? Takeoff, bro. They wasn't after Takeoff because of no, oh, I think he lyrical bars and Takeoff had a heart, bro. 
Why do you think a lot of people loved him so much? Quavo, not, Quavo is not like Takeoff. Offset is not like Takeoff. Takeoff, soft-spoken and quiet, good-hearted, well-mannered. You don't see how when he died, his death affected people? People want that kind of a heart. If they can't have it, it's a problem. If I can't use you for whatever it is you got, it's a problem. I got to get you out of here. That's why O'Neal wanted to get me killed. My plan was to use you. In terms of what happened, everybody in my crew started liking you. That's a problem for me. My jits like you. My family like you. And that's the sad part. I never intended for anything to be that way. You brought me around you. You caused your own demise. And because you couldn't handle it, you feeling some kind of way, I gotta get even on D'Angelo. I'm a smash D'Angelo old lady. I don't give a fuck about Janice. Janice is a foot dragging ass bitch. And this is another thing. I don't hate my island women, but because I know I've dealt with a lot of fucked up ass island women, I kind of like, uh, Jamaican women, I kind of put them on ice, dog. I don't have, I notice certain things I can't blame on everybody. I don't want to. I just try to understand people and why they do certain shit. That's when I got the answer. If some people don't like you for you or they feel like something else is popping, they going to go there. But the sad part is I always try to understand in my life why black women don't really fuck with me like that. Why is it they like dating these type of dudes? It's because they're comfortable around niggas like that. I got the answer. A lot of them are comfortable around niggas like that. And it's cool. I ain't mad about it. I'm a suave ass nigga fool. Real suave. I ain't mad about shit like that. I just always want to understand. Why did I get burned this way? Why did this happen to me? And it's because of the heart that you got. The light that you have. Sometimes people see you. You don't see yourself. You like a walking freaking light bulb. Just shining. And people don't like it because it's blinding. It's just like when you see somebody put on a diamond chain. And that shit glistening dog. They turn the lights off, it's glistening. They don't know how to stop your shine. So people will do anything to stop your shine. Let me put lies on you. The lie's not working. I know he loved this female. I'm going to fuck his old lady and I'm going to use that as leverage and see if it crumbles him. It ain't crumble him? Okay, let me spread more lies on them. Let me set all these TP, all these people up against them. All the people that was your homies, let me turn them against you. This nigga did everything in the book against me, dog. And it's cool. I'm not mad at it. The thing is that it sucks that certain things happen in a way where you can't control it. You just have to accept it and roll with the punches. And I kept the G. I took that shit on the chin like a G. And that's the funny part. You looking at me like, oh, D'Angelo a nerd, D'Angelo a pussy, D'Angelo. Bruh, I be so sick and tired of people who try to treat me like I'm a little Carlton because I know how to use words correctly. I know how to have manners. I know how to treat people. Literally, when people keep looking at you and treating you stupid, I'm going to keep it so G with you for people who do this and make you want to go right in the nigga shit, bruh. So a nigga can understand, bruh, don't play with me like that. That's some Florida shit for you. Stop playing with me, bruh. People like to play stupid games until they get caught up. That's why. Why do you think I went and hired a private investigator for my mother? This bitch been running games on me for so long. She think I can't play with you? I can't play in the game like you? I bet you a private, investiga a private investigator can. Ever since then, my mom don't call me. My mom don't nothing. And this is the thing I'm trying to show you. People don't want to play no more when you got your leverage now. It was fun when you was a bully when you was running the game. It's no fun when the rabbit has a gun, dog. It's no fun, O'Neal, when my brothers put up on game and a lot of the people you was selling out, talking about, oh, D'Angelo, this, that, and the third, a lot of people backing me and a lot of people see certain shit and they ready for whatever, bro. If you do something, you're going to face the consequences. Just like you got some little dirty foot ass homeboys that don't try and set you straight. Some of them might, but a lot of them, they're on the fuck shit. They ain't gonna say nothing. People try to learn you to use you. And this is why this whole topic stemmed and blended out this way. From him trying to use me, it spiraled into all of this, dog. Just because you didn't want to work hard in life. Just because you didn't want to take accountability. Just because you didn't want to be a fucking man and let your nuts hang. But guess what I learned, though? Women love niggas like this, though. They love them, though. They love them, though. They love them. 
And that's what makes the world a little bit sweeter for people like me. I got full freedom, though. I could do whatever it is I want, bro. You know what I'm saying? Remember this, man. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I'm going to uplift you because everybody's a champion. Nobody's a loser, man. 444 the world, man. Remember this in life, bro. Don't play dumbass games trying to learn somebody to try and use them. It's going to backfire on you. I'm telling you this. I'm not going to beg you. I'm going to tell you. That's why I explained a little bit more into this story and everything. Like I said, there's a lot of shit I don't say on camera. A lot of things I can't say. I just try to wing it in a way where I'm not saying too much. But I'm going to tell you like this. If you're out here trying to use people, it's going to backfire on you. And when it backfires on you, that's a feeling you're never going to want to have happen. You know what it's like when your heart is up here in your chest and it sinks to your ass? Like it drops through the floor? Because you don't know what's coming around the corner? That's because you open up Pandora's box and you don't know how to freaking close it. Who told you to do that, bro? You want to know who told you? Nobody. You told yourself. And that's the games that people play when they learn foolishness, dog. You practice evil and foolishness, that's all you're going to practice and put out there. And it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Stop doing it, bro. 444 the world.